It's high time we stop hiding things from ourselves. The truth is out there. The truth is out there. We Have you heard the story of the old man whose roof had been leaking for years? He had been advised severally by family, friends and neighbors to change the roof because it was getting worse with each rainy season. But the old man always said the dry season is around the corner. So just patch the roof and I will manage it until the dry season. He did this for several years until it got to this particular year when the weather pattern changed. It was raining non-stop for days and weeks, thereby opening up more holes in the roof and letting more water into the house. The old man was tired of watching his family place buckets all over the house to collect the water. So he asked his son, Abdul, to get someone to fix the roof. Abdul told a friend his dad was looking for someone to fix their roof, to which his friend retorted, we can do this easily and make some money on the side. It isn't rocket science. We'll get some carpenters to remove the old roof and order a new roof immediately, instead of this patching business your dad has been doing for years. At least you'll have a new roof to last you for some years. Abdul told his dad he had gotten a very good engineer to change the roof at X amount of money. His dad approved and the next morning, the carpenters moved in to start removing the entire roof in the middle of a morning downpour. The neighbors are all watching from their windows and wondering, who did this to these people? Their whole property is drenched and damaged from the rain. And the worst thing is that Abdul and his friend didn't know they had to order the new roof. So they are now roofless in the middle of the worst rainy season ever experienced in a century. That's until the new roof arrives and is fixed. Isn't this a pathetic story? Imagine the suffering of this old man and his family as their food and property is damaged and they are left exposed to the harshest rains of the century. Who is to blame for this mess and what should have been done? Do we blame the old man for not fixing the roof all these years? Should he have asked his son to handle this important task or gotten someone more competent? Should Abdul having been charged with something this important to his family, relied on his unqualified friend and pursued profit? Should they have patched the roof again to weather this harsh rainy season? while waiting for the dry season to finally change the roof or should they have replaced their old roof in the middle of a heavy downpour? Does this story sound familiar? There's a country called Nigeria where they have just changed their old roof in the middle of the worst downpour of the last century. The Nigerian government has increased VAT, increased electricity tariffs and increased the price of petroleum products. This is their answer to our leaking roof. In the midst of a pandemic that has rendered tens of millions jobless and pushed millions into the poverty bracket, who misled the president? He wanted to stop the leaking roof, but surely he didn't want the storm to destroy his people. Is this really the time to increase taxes and deregulate the petroleum downstream without a safety net for the poor? Who is managing this economy? When will the new roof arrive? When will the promised benefits arrive? Labor has done their deal. Nigerians are asking questions and all of a sudden, it is as silent as the grave. Nigerians are suffering. Nigerians are suffering. My dear president, Nigerians, are suffering.